Hey Aries, it's Meg with Padme's and I'm doing your tarot scope for May. So this is anyone with sun, moon, rising, or Venus placements. And welcome cross watchers, anyone who's interested in Aries. We are calling in our angels and guides of the highest vibrations of love and light because I don't want to talk to anyone else. And we are going to get the energy for your month in May. Here we go. Okay. So let's check this out, Aries. The star card popped out earlier, but I put it back in, and now it is back with us. I also heard uh, this Janet Jackson song when I was shuffling just before. And it was, that's, what is that song? Come back to me. I'm begging you, please. So I heard that. So let's see what's going on here, Aries. First thing I'm noticing is the big picture. The big picture is the hermit reversed. This is going within. Sometimes it's going so far within that you're isolating yourself. And this can be going through some kind of depression or isolating yourself and really taking yourself out of being social. But this is also my card reversed for moving everybody else's energy out of your space. So let's see what goes on here. We'll do some clarifying and then we'll ask a yes or no question at the end as well. And your heart of the situation, you know, uh, that Janet Jackson song, come back to me. Um, here's the star. Here is your highest and your greatest potential. The star card is also oftentimes my same star card. So it does have to do with, um, I wanna say galactic intentions, but also galactic uh, relationships. So this would be meeting someone here in 3D on, the, on earth um, that has, that you have galactic ties to, kind of like soul group type of thing. And it looks like there is some kind of connection with someone that you have met or you have been with. And then it's also crossed with the two of wands. So there's been some kind of separation or you're feeling the separation from this person who you have these collective connections with, soul group type connections. Happening now and into the near future, there's talk of some self-sabotage, but there's talk of some kind of, I wanna say listening to the wrong voices in your head. It's like, instead of listening to your intuition, listening to your heart, it's like listening to the negative self-speak that we sometimes have in our minds. We're gonna get some clarification on that. Your advice is talking about some kind of separation in love, but it's advice. So it's literally like clear somebody's energy out of your space, it's okay. It's okay to do that, even if it's a galactic connection. It's okay to do that because something that is yours will never, it will never not be yours. And if it is meant to come back, it will come back. So this feels like there's some kind of space that needs to be had right now. So let's get, let's work on this. Let's look at this. The nine of swords is the river that runs through the whole energy and it's you know where all this energy is coming from and there is a lot of anxiety about this there's definitely a message here about releasing anxiety around this separation aries releasing anxiety around the separation yeah coming back to me i hear it okay so your, your higher self is talking about these deep emotions. I feel like this person brought these deep emotions out of you. I feel like they also brought a lot of triggers and a lot of shadow work kind of stuff up and out. This would be secrets coming to the surface as well. And here's the six of pentacles reversed. This is your angels and guides are talking about somebody giving more 
to the situation, giving more to the relationship than receiving. So somebody was giving more than somebody else. And this is like release the idea that there's this strong energy that is, it's, oh, geez. I just want to say, I feel like this passion has just been put on the back burner. It was almost like it was too intense. It was too intense with all of this stuff coming out, all of this, all of the shadow work coming out. It just feels too intense. I want to say like the fire wasn't put out. It was just put on the back burner because it was too intense. And here is your resistance. Your resistance is to uh, like really strong manipulation. Your resistance is to not wielding things together, but also somebody being manipulative for their own gain. Okay. So let's look at your past, present, and future. In the past, there was something inevitable that was going to happen. And it's like you had time to plan for this, but it was going to be a big change. And it was kind of, you know, it might have felt ominous just because the change of not wanting change, but it's reversed. It's the reverse tower. So for me, it's like, you know, the change is coming. There's this anticipation that happens with it. You don't necessarily want it to change, but it does. So you have time to plan for it. And present time energy is the eight of cups reversed and the death card. Eight of cups reversed is like, I am not ready for this change. I'm not emotionally ready to move forward and end this cycle. I'm not ready to for the rebirth to happen. I, I'm still, somebody is calculating still. And I don't feel like it's calculating like in this negative way. I feel like it's calculating as in like literally like counting things up, re like going back through particular times, like recalculating, like, when was this? What was this? When did they say this? What were we doing when this happened? Uh, what day was that? Like that kind of calculating. And here is the outcome. And the outcome is talking about not putting as much effort into the situation. When it's the eight of pentacles straight up for me, it's like, I'm putting effort in, I'm working hard. This is the apprentice card. And when it's reversed for me, it's like, I'm an expert at this. I have all the information that I need. I'm no longer putting so much time, energy, and effort into this particular thing. I already, um, I've already honed this. I already know what's going on. So Aries, let's clarify this a bit, shall we? Let's see what's going on. We are going to clarify the hermit reversed. This is somebody else taking their energy out of a situation, or this is you taking yourself out of a situation. This is you clearing your space, some kind of clearing of space, clearing other people's energy out of your space. Okay, there we go. Yeah, and it does look like there was some kind of a duel. There was some kind of argument. There was some kind of... Oh, I want to say misread interpretation, misinterpretation, but there was some kind of duel, there was some kind of argument that led to this separation of energies. So the advice is like, let the separation happen. Let's clarify that. Just let the separation happen as it's happened. And right. The trees. This is a healing time. And this is a healing time for both of you. I'm definitely getting that heart of the situation. It's this galactic connection. It's this strong connection that there's the separation that has happened. But I just don't feel like this is the end of everything. And I also feel like galactic connections, they are, it's like release them, let them go. And what Whatever is yours can never be taken from you. Whatever is a true connection can never be denied. So oh, it's such a, uh, when we're in our personality selves, like our 3D selves, it's so difficult because our bodies feel loss. And so when someone leaves, 
our bodies feel the loss. But when we are in our higher dimensional selves, we know that there's not any loss ever. There's never a loss. We're all out there together. We're all connected. We're all so connected that we're not even, there's no, there's no separation. Okay. I want to clarify this five of swords, this negative self-speak, but also just listening. It's self-sabotage. It's listening to, yeah. Okay. This is super important, Aries. There's this moment where you can listen to these voices that are negative self-speak, or you can choose to go clairvoyant, choose to totally listen to your center of head space, whatever it is that you're hearing, whatever it is that you are feeling, bring it up to your third eye and ask to see the energy of it. You'll see the truth. You will see the truth. I wanna clarify this star card and this two of wands reversed at the heart of the situation. Yep, here is, this is, yeah, this is an opportunity to kind of, I mean, it's romance. It's like romancing a new relationship. This can be a romantic relationship. Um, it's not a brand new relationship. I mean, there's another chance to um, make things right with this galactic connection. It's like after a time, there's a, a coming back together. And we'll ask a little bit about that in a minute. Yep, I'm gonna clarify this Nine of Swords. This Nine of Swords, that's the river that runs through it, this, um, this grief and upset. It also looks like there's a lot of loyalty here. So whatever this grief and upset is about, it's like there's grief and upset because someone is looking out for somebody else's best interest. It's almost like, why aren't you listening to me? But what's happening is this person is going through healing that they need to go through. They're not open to receive what you are offering. They are not picking up what you're putting down. So let them do what they need to do. That's the advice. And then things will circle back around and there will be some time to, there will be some time to revisit what was said or what was talked about and like kind of finesse that a little bit. And this person will be more receptive to that conversation. So there's also, your higher self is talking about the shadow stuff coming out. You very well may have been mirroring each other in some way. This uh, mirror is shattered. So there's some kind of image. There's some kind of identity that has been kind of turned upside down. It's like something has come out and someone has seen, well, they thought there was one reality, but now there's actually a complete different reality and they're dealing with some dissonance. They're dealing with the in-between place between the old reality and the new reality. And they're healing from it. So this giving and taking, this somebody taking more so than what they're giving. Let's clarify that. Yeah, somebody wants all the luck. They want the luck of the job. They want all of the luck. They want all of the, the money. They want all of the good fortune. And somehow they're not really wanting to share it. I'm also feeling like they feel that it is owed to them. Uh, yeah, why? Why do they feel that way? Because there's some kind of commitment. They believe that there's some kind of commitment or there might even be some kind of um, soul contract. They're, they have some entitlement. There's some kind of entitlement there. Okay, let's look at this Knight of Wands in the release this release this passion. I almost even feel like this is like the passion of the argument that happened, the passion of the duel. It's like release the charge of this. Yeah, release the charge of this. Yep, that is the key to everything. As soon as you release the charge to this, this has to do with getting neutral, getting neutral, becoming neutral. Let's look at this manipulation, Aries. The magician, I am resistant to all of this manipulation. Yeah, ooh, two, two cards came out. Um, yeah, 
there's resistance to this manipulation. Um, it's like, this is hurting my heart. It's overcoming. There's, it's like poison. It's like, it's like poison. It's like a snake bite. And it's like, I, I just can't handle it anymore. Okay. So the tower in the past, this inevitable change that had this anticipation going. Yeah. It's like, it's like it went on for even longer than what it should have. Let's get more on that. Oh my gosh. Here is this demise. It's like this impending dem demise. It's like a feeling of the other shoe about to drop. And it's like, no, I'm going to hold this building together with my own will and my own might. And it's, it's like this fear or this like resistance to like letting it all go and not controlling it and just releasing it and letting the building fall down so that the foundation can just be built back up so you can build the building back stronger. But it's like, I've been holding this together for so long and it's just been this impending doom kind of thing. I, the anticipation was so much. You might even be going through some kind of recovery at this point. And here, this eight of cups, I'm not emotionally ready to release all the hard work that I did. I'm not ready to walk through this threshold. Aries, let's clarify that. Right. I want to ignite this fire. I want this hearth. I want this, I want this warmth. I feel, Aries, though, that what's going on is that you're thinking that this warmth and this fire can only be ignited in one way. But in actuality, it can be ignited in lots of different ways. And even the, you don't necessarily have to be the one who ignites it this time. You gave all of that without getting back what you, all the energy that you were giving out, you could let this other person ignite the flame this time. Yeah, right now, this is about self-healing. This is about self-healing and releasing. Let's look at this Eight of Pentacles in the trajectory, Aries. Right. There's some kind of thing when you're looking back and you're doing this calculating of when did this happen? What was going on here? There's some kind of things that you uncover. It's almost like you're driving yourself crazy trying to get all the details in place, but you become an expert at exactly what it was that happened and what was said and what was going on at the time. And there was some, there was manipulation happening. Somebody wasn't speaking their truth, but they were saying things to render a particular response and to render a particular um, sense of control that they had over themselves. Here's this aloofness, but this feels like this person wishes that they were this aloof and that they didn't really care, but they actually really do. And they're trying really hard to make it look like they don't care, but they actually are very much affected by all of this. Okay. I want to ask about what is coming toward you that you don't see regarding this situation, Aries. What is coming toward you that you don't see? And I'm going to put three cards out here. Okay. So what's coming toward you that you don't see. Here we have the two of cups reversed, which is what your advice was. We've got the ace of cups reversed. And then we have somebody standing up for themselves like a mofo. It's like, that's right, this is over. I'm not giving you my cup of love. And they're really standing strong with it, having conviction with it, but it's part of this thing. It's like, it, it's part of this facade. Okay. I want to ask, what does this person want to say to you? What do, what do they really want to say to you, Aries? Okay, and let's just try to flip over. What they're really wanting to say is, I miss you so much. Wow. What else do they want to say? They're putting on a facade. What else do they want to tell you, Aries? Portals. They're acknowledging that galactic connection. They're also, you know, that's also them letting, 
letting you know that there's no separation. This is just the personality self and you're giving them an opportunity to do whatever kind of healing that they need. You're triggering them so that they can grow. And that's what you guys came here to do as you know, part of your soul group. So portals, I love it. I'm gonna get one more of these and then, okay. What else do they deeply want to say to you? Unicorns are real, believe in magic, anything can happen. I wanna to ask too, what is the deal with their personality self holding this facade? I mean, they are deathly afraid of losing control, not having control, just losing it. All right, what is the deal? Right, they're really afraid of being betrayed. It's like they're afraid of being bamboozled. They're afraid of not being they're, they're like afraid of the wool being pulled over their eyes. And if that happens, they'll lose control. And so ultimately they're running away. It's so strong. It's such a primal fear. And they're afraid of, yeah, here's the Ace of Pentacles. They're afraid of losing their stability, losing their foundation. Okay. Aries, we're gonna ask a yes or no question. So get your question together. If you have to pause this for a moment, ask your question while I'm shuffling. Actually, this is the Romance Oracle. I'm gonna use the Angel Oracle. Okay. So we're gonna get a yes or no answer. I'm gonna say that's a big yes, abundance. And let's clarify that, please. Abundance. There is an abundance. There's more. There's enough abundance for every entity in the universe. There is no competition. Competition is, is not real. Okay. We've got the Ten of Swords reversed and the High Priestess. There is going to be some kind of communication after somebody feels like they have healed from being betrayed. They feel like they have just been, it's almost like they, like they got the bad draw of life kind of, or like they got the bad draw or they have a bad hand, but this is also all in their head. They're thinking they're thinking these things, but it's like not right thinking. And there is going to be some communication. The thing is, though, they're going to be communicating things that they feel are real and true that are not necessarily, it's like irrational. It's irrational. So just, you know, be prepared. Oh, but this is good because it might be irrational. They are moving through this though. This is healing from this, but there might still be talk about it. But this Eight of Swords Reversed is talking about being able to look at old stories differently now, seeing that old stories in the past could have been true then, but are not necessarily true anymore. That present time, those stories no longer apply. Okay clarification of whatever your question was. That was a yes and abundance. I love it. All right, Aries. Thank you so much for being with me and I will talk to you soon. I'll be back in a couple of days and take care.